Okay, so this time we are given an equation and the roots of it. Equation is x cube minus p x square plus q x minus r equals to zero, and the roots are alpha, beta, gamma. And we need to form an equation whose roots are beta gamma plus one upon alpha, gamma alpha plus one upon beta, and alpha beta plus one upon gamma. So how would we go about it? So now the thing is that. In such kind of a scenario, what we will do, we will suppose that let y equal to any one of this, okay. So, we will take the first one, beta gamma plus 1 upon alpha, which actually equals to alpha beta gamma plus 1 upon alpha, right. Now, alpha beta gamma, alpha beta gamma will be minus d upon a, so which will be r, right? So that means y equals to, this implies that y equals to r plus 1 upon alpha, correct? Now, now take, take y equals to r plus 1 upon x. This is because alpha is a root of original equation okay of original equation alpha beta gamma are the roots right so alpha is a root so this would imply that x equals to r plus 1 upon y now putting this directly putting the value of x in the original equation, in the original equation, what do we get? We will get r plus 1 upon y whole cube minus px square, right? So, r plus 1 upon y square plus qx plus minus r equals to 0. So you see now there is no x term. The x term has been completely transformed into y term and y is the given root, right? So this will imply that when you just open it up using all the formulas for q and square, you will get r y q minus q r plus 1 y square plus p into r plus 1 square y minus r plus 1 whole q equals to 0. So essentially what we have done, I have just taken the LCM. I have just broken it up. I have just taken the LCM and this is the final equation cubic equation that we will get after substituting the value of x in terms of y.